Gabe Follower reported this news yesterday. Just received interesting footage. Here's how CS2's bot farms in China look like. The last photo shows how lots of the accounts get vac banned. So this this is like oddly reminiscent to Bitcoin mining or you know what Bitcoin mining used to be like very under the cover. Uh, a lot of people were doing it in like back rooms. Bro, each computer has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You see their clock speeds. You see how the computer is running. And it has 10 instances on each computer. And just here alone, just on this side of the room, we see 20 computers running. So that's 200 different accounts. This is there's probably 250, 260 accounts running at the same time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is bad. This is real bad. Um, now, I would need a co like complete rundown on if they're buying the accounts for full price or if they're buying them for $5 a piece because you can buy some uh, uh, hacked, basically hacked or bought in Turkey accounts for like $5 with, uh, what's the thing you need to buy? Yeah, yeah, you need to buy Prime in order to get case drops, as it says here. Counter-Strike 2 players with Prime status are matched with other Prime status players and are eligible to receive Prime-exclusive souvenir items, item drops, and weapon cases. So this is what they're really farming here. You can buy these accounts for $5 if you're in Turkey. So you mass buy from Turkey. You set up these in China because energy is a lot cheaper there. And then you start farming. Let's say it takes you an hour per account to get the case drop, the weekly case drop. That's every hour you run 260 accounts, get all of them locked and loaded. Then you do it again, another 260. Let's say he has 10,000 accounts or something that crazy. 10,000 accounts. And then on average, every week he's getting another five cents probably per, we per weapon skin. So let's just say he has 10,000 accounts, right? Because he already has all of these computers. It, it, it looks like he actually is kind of going as hardcore as possible. So 10,000 cases per week, which is probably a high, a high estimate. It's probably less than that because maybe some take more than an hour to farm. Uh, let's just say the average case that he's getting because 99% of the time it's going to be a weekly case drop. Uh, but then, of course, there's the 1% chance that it's a good case drop. So a weapon case one or a Hydra or a chroma case, or a gamma case. Um, 10,000 cases per week. Yes, that's my estimate. Let's say on a bad week, he's probably making 5,000. But then, of course, there's the weapon case one drops, which will happen every once in a while. There's the hydra cases. There's the weapon case two. Then there's the energy per, per month that he's using. Each computer is probably... 5 cent kilowatt hours in China? Is that is that accurate? 5 cent kilowatt hours? It's so a 1,000 hour, or a 1,000 kilowatt. It's probably using 200 kilowatt, or 200 watts an hour. Uh, I mean, it's profitable. It's profitable. It's going to take a while to, to pay off all the accounts that he's buying and all the computers that he's buying, unless he already has the computers from Bitcoin mining. It's 13 cent per kilowatt hour. It definitely is profitable. Otherwise, they wouldn't be doing it, right? Then we see more pictures. <laughs> it's even more than the last. Okay, so this is double the size of the last one. Let's say they're farming 20,000 cases a week here. Because every hour they're probably swapping out the accounts. I don't see them only using 10 per computer and then just being done. That doesn't make enough sense. Because they've already got the whole setup, right? So they're going to buy enough accounts to have it so each computer can have 10 running every hour on the hour for the whole week um so let's just say one computer has 10 accounts one computer has 10 accounts you can do 10 accounts per hour so that's 240 a day sorry not not eight so that's 1680 accounts approximately it's probably less than this because one hour getting uh 5000 xp is probably a little bit a little bit high like that's a little bit fever dreamish i, I don't think you're actually going to get one hour per level 
So let, more accurately, it's probably like a thousand accounts per computer. And here he has five or six per row. Looks like, f oh no, maybe 10 per row. Yeah, 10 computers per row, four rows, that's 40. So even on a lower end, he probably has 40,000 accounts every single week farming cases here. No. So someone in chat asks, but don't you need to have people farming on those accounts to get the cases? No. No, you don't. As we have seen in leaked videos, all they need is one kill or two kills or three kills. And then they kick everybody that's not a real, that, that's, that's a real player out of the uh, deathmatch matches or the arms race or whatever, or whatever it may be. All they need is about two or three kills and they get XP. But they can have these bots on the computer all running hack programs to automatically go out path and get kills. So, so it's fully automated. Let's say 40,000 accounts every week that are on these computers, 10 of them per computer, and they're all going out into deathmatch ma matches and botting, getting kills, getting the case. Then as soon as they get the case, they log out and they get logged into a new account. And then, and then, and then, they probably are also farming service medals. So let's say they do this for 40 weeks straight. Well, then you get this service medal right here. You might say, okay, it's stuck to your account. You can't trade that. What are you going to do with it? No. Then you sell the account to hackers who want to flex the service medal. So then you double up the profit and you buy another turkey account for $5. You farm this up for 40 weeks. You get the service medal. You sell it for a little bit extra. And then you start the process again. Oh my god. It's genius. It's a foolproof plan. This is what it looks like when you get vac banned though. And uh, that that really throws a wrench in your in your uh, in your plan here. Because look at this. 10, 10 different accounts all getting vac banned. Or no. 7 accounts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight accounts getting all vac banned at the exact same time. Unfortunate. That's vacnet right there. Rip bozo. Now, for people asking how profitable it is, one of the most popular bot panels was created by a Russian developer who goes by the name of Yuri Fokin. The cheapest subscription to a service costs $10, and in total, his users have earned over 1.5 million dollars 600k in the last month alone <laughs> okay so we're gonna do some estimates here this is probably very wrong but let's say on average each case is five uh, 40 cents not 50 cents uh, you know what let's even do yeah, let's just do 40 cents and 35 cents, okay? That means his bots in the last month have farmed 1.7 million cases. That means that means there's 1.7 million accounts running his program every week. Oh, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, no wonder... There's so many people playing Counter-Strike. No wonder. Just that one guy's botting service. Is 1.7 million every week. Or no, no, no. Not every week. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It would be 1.7 million. Because this is in the last month. Okay. So that's 425,000 on his on his service. Okay, but that's just one service, all right? I'm sure there's many other services. So 400,000 weekly players here are are that one dude's botting service. That is sad. I mean, bro, 400,000 weekly players playing Counter-Strike 2 aren't even real humans. They are bots farming cases, farming money farming us because we're the ones that buy those cases it goes directly into these guys wallets they threaten to take legal action against me banned on their discord and closed access to every one poor fellas are scared wait wait game follower is being threatened i wait maybe i shouldn't be talking about this then uh-oh 
Um, this is all allegedly. This is all allegedly. I don't know about any of this. Is I don't. This is all. This is all AI. This is all AI. I. I, I didn't know that they didn't want me talking about this. This is all AI. Well, you should delete videos and photos with our products since it's violation of our copyrights. Bro, what copyrights? This is owned by Valve Corporation. What? He got the invite link. Change it at least. Can you help us change the name of Sandbox? Maybe he's jealous. I'm deleting public chats in five minutes. Gabe Fuller, I know his home address. Help me chat. Good. I'm le is leaking about how it works. Has the panel been targeted by Valve as we do it for four years? Maybe. Oh, jeepers. All this for a few cases a week. Use VPNs combined with regional places for a better, better deal in Prime. Cheap electricity. Government funding. Leaching from government. Funding labeling it as a cost of whatever job they're supposedly doing there. Sell the accounts with thousands of hours of playtime to cheaters. Yeah, and the uh, service medal as well. <sighs> oh, man. There is there anything that Valve can do to shut down this without... Also negatively affecting the experience of human players. Well, it doesn't affect human players at all, really. Because they're all in a deathmatch just playing against each other. And then they kick the 11th or the 12th people that join in. So, it really doesn't affect us. It, if anything, it's just bringing down the case price for us. So, I mean, it's kind of a kind of a good thing, sort of. Um, because the more cases that they farm, the cheaper it is for us to buy the cases. So... You can maybe even say it's 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 a good thing what they're doing. Um, skin prices down too as well. Well, honestly, I don't I, I don't have a problem with skin prices going down because that then Long lets more cool. people buy skins and get into the scene, and then it just grows the community. Like, obviously, you know, some people are gonna want to gatekeep. Like, oh, my knife, I want it to go up in value. I want there to be less cases. I want cases to be more expensive. But I think the more people that there are in the scene. It's, it's better for everybody. Because, um, obviously, you know, new cases are going to keep getting dropped and then whatever cases go down in price. But I think if you're investing in cases anyways, it's like you're kind of already clueless to Lux because cases are... Uh, sure, they're an all right investment, but there's so many other things you should be buying in CS rather than cases, rather than investing in knives. Like, that's just stupid. Because cases are always going to drop. You have to keep that in mind. Even even Bravo cases, even weapon cases ones, they're going to continue to be dropped. Even if it's a low amount, they're going to still be dropped. Investing in them is just dumb, in my opinion. Obviously, you can have your own opinion, but I think it's stupid. Like, crown foils will never go crazy in price because you can still get them as a drop. $600 is a lot, but they, I don't think they'll ever be 5k or 6k until we stop getting them as drops, which I don't think will happen for a while. If bots were a big portion of farming cases, the player chart would look more irregular. Here's TF2's player chart, for example. No, but the thing is, CS cases are consistently, consistently just a good, uh, good source of income. So, I don't know. I think there's a baseline of case farmers, and then there's the people that get on and get off. And that's why there's the peaks and the valleys with CS2. Because, you know, more people play during the day than at night or vice versa, depending on what time zone you're in and where you live, that sort of thing. New goaded MP9 craft. But yeah, I, I think that's pretty interesting. And everything I just said is alleged. And it was Gabe Fuller, not me. <laughs> nice MP9, bro.